In today's world, things are changing and you could say things are changing rather quickly. The only thing that I would say that's not going to be changing anytime soon is the person right across the mirror. Other than that, anything is fair game. And in today's world, it's much different than Charles Darwin's world where he was talking about survival of the fittest. I'm not saying that's not true anymore, but there's a different layer to it. The different layer is that nowadays it's more about the survival of the sharpest, who's smarter than ever, who's thinking clearer than ever, and who's more creative than ever. One of the old school definitions of creativity was thinking outside of the box. But the new school definition of creativity is acting like there was never a box in the first place. You, my friend, are in your own universe. That's the new school definition of creativity. And in today's episode, I want to give you seven different hacks on how you can become more creative. Because at the core level, we're already creative entities. If you don't believe me, think about human beings with anxiety. They're so creative to a point where they are imagining themselves failing different events. And mind you, they're failing different events which have never occurred. They're creating something out of nothing. And if you were to ask me, that's creativity. That's the bad kind. Because that's not providing value for anyone in their life. What you want to do is you want to realize that unless you do something about your innate ability to be creative, it's normally going to tilt towards the negative. We want it to tilt towards the positive where you're not just providing value for yourself, you're providing value for other people. And you're going to do that by doing these seven different hacks. And if you have more hacks, go on and drop them in the comment section right on below. But here are my personal seven. The first hack, the universe and fire. What about it, Armani? Well, something about the universe and the fire, anytime I see it, it makes me feel, it makes me feel energetic. It makes me feel like I want to create something. So what I recommend is you get in the habit of pulling up a picture of the universe or fire. You can make it your phone background. You could get posters of it, something like that. And once you put it in your environment, you'll notice yourself sparking your inner world. Something about the universe stretches the mind and something about fire stretches the feelings. And the combination of those two turns you into a creative genius. That's the first hack. The second hack is what I call consuming with intent. If you think about it, there's so much art that's already around us, yet we don't take it as seriously. Spider-Man. 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 That's a pretty smart idea. It's a very creative idea. But a Spider-Man can't exist in the real world. That's correct. It can't exist in the real world, but it can exist in comic books, it can exist in TV shows, movies, etc., which it does. A lot of the art that is around us in today's era, you got to realize that it took individuals a long, 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 long time to create it. And here you are being presented the final product. Why not consume the art, the shows, the poetry that you normally consume with a more mindful eye? Because when you can consume art mindfully, then you can start creating art in the future mindlessly. This is a major hack that allows you to level up your creativity and you can do it anytime that you're just resting. The second hack. The third hack is what I call the 20,000 word challenge. This is one of the challenges that I issued on Twitter recently. And just in a nutshell, the challenge is where you dedicate one full day to get one topic and you write 20,000 words on it on Microsoft Document. You're not focusing on grammar, you're not focusing on spelling, punctuations, etc. All you're focusing on is getting the 20,000 words done. You want to make sure you're hydrated, you want to make sure you got your food ready ahead of time. Now, once I issued this challenge, there were different groups that formed. One group was like, man, I don't want to do it, or I know that it's impossible. Another group was like, look, I know that this is impossible, but I guess I'll try it anyways. They had an extremely sour attitude. And the final group was like, 
hmm, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I may be able to do this, but I'm going to try. They had enthusiasm. And unless you're that final group, don't even bother trying this challenge because it requires a lot of work. But after I issued the challenge, what I noticed was that there were multiple people DMing me. There was one person that was like, Yo, Armani, I hit 21,000. Can you believe it? And then there were other people that were like, ah, Armani, I couldn't hit the 20,000. I, I just hit 14,000. And I'm like, champ, look, you didn't just hit 14,000. You hit 14,000, which is 14,000 more than zero. So the main thing about this hack is that it makes you different than the person that you entered as. Extremely powerful and it stretches your mind. That's the third hack. The fourth hack is to do routine tasks with the opposite hand. So let's say you normally use the mouse with your right hand. You want to do it with your left hand. Same with brushing your teeth. If you're normally left-handed, do it right-handed. Any small task, doing it with the opposite hand forces your brain to think differently. And when you're thinking differently, it's one of those situations where there's a spillover effect. You start becoming more creative after the task is complete. And if you were to ask me, that's extremely powerful. Also, this hack helps you lower your temper. So if you're someone who's struggling with creativity and has anger issues, then start doing routine tasks with the opposite hand. That's four. The fifth tip is to listen to instrumentals or foreign music. I don't want you to listen to music where you understand the lyrics, particularly for this hack, because I want your thought patterns to think outside of the box. I want you to feel different emotions where logic is not needed. And when you can listen to foreign music and instrumentals, your thought patterns feel more free to explore. And once again, just like with hack four, there's spillover effects involved. And with these spillover effects, you'll notice yourself being more creative in other venues of your life. So that's number five. For six, what I want you to start doing is leveraging dark emotions. What you do right now is someone cuts you off in traffic and you're throwing a hissy fit, you're doing road rage and all that other nonsense. What you're doing is you're simply letting emotions leak out of you. You don't want this stranger to get your power like that. Instead, what you should do is get all these emotions and channel it into a creative endeavor. Emotions influence your mind and your mind influences your emotions. But all these emotions that are charged up within you, anger, sadness, depression, etc. These are something that is causing you to think in external thought patterns. The only problem is that when you don't give it an outlet, you just start thinking all over the place. Start choosing an outlet, whether it's painting, whether it's storytelling, creating YouTube videos, etc., and channel all your dark emotions into that. That's creativity hack. And the seventh one, the final hack, is I want you to start asking the bigger questions in life. Think about yourself more than just a physical entity. Because if you're just saying, I'm just the body, that's it, nothing else exists, then your whole creative journey has just ended right there. Instead, you want to think outside of the box. Like for example, with this YouTube channel, I've done over 100 plus videos. And in these 100 videos, one thing I've noticed is that I just keep getting the ideas more and more and more. Now, if I'm someone that's just thinking in the physical element, I would think, hmm, if I cut myself open, if I get my brain, where exactly are these videos located? I don't know, because that question does not suit a appropriate answer in terms of creativity. If you want to be extremely creative, either be someone that's spiritual, have a religion, have some faith past the body alone. And if you can start doing this, you start opening yourself up to the bigger possibilities in life. And if you don't have a spiritual tendency, any kind of religion, any strong faith, simply just say, there's much more that I don't know. Simply by saying something like this, you'll notice that there's a lot more tendency for you to be creative. You know you're more than just a body. You know you're getting these thoughts that others can't see. 
And that right there is showing that you are already creative. So these are the seven hacks that I want you to start implementing in your life. And you don't have to do all of these hacks, just do whichever one suits you the most. But ultimately, what you'll realize is that the more creative that you can intentionally focus yourself, the more controlled your emotions become as well. You don't feel as much anxiety, you don't feel sadness and that kind of stuff too much because you're always in the mode of creating more and more and more. Once you can get to that level, you'll realize that we're all geniuses to a certain extent. It was just a matter of unlocking it. Unlock your inner creativity. And if you wanna learn more practical insights into the world of creativity, if you wanna learn the science of how to engage your full brain, make sure you check out The Prolific Writer, The Holy Grail of Creative Writing, right in the description box right on below. With that being said, thank you for joining the Armani Talks YouTube channel, and I'll catch you on the next episode.